Hey guys, welcome back to Resident Evil 3. We're at the gun shop. Uh, we're, we're at the gun shop, and hopefully, we are making our way back to the police station, which is going to feel so oddly familiar and terrifying. So this looks exactly the same as in Resident Evil 2, which is no, which is which is not surprising. Resident 2 remake came out uh, just about one year ago so this is clearly the same model and why wouldn't they use the same model um, so let's tr let's go this way first uh, is this supposed to be using the key all right So I guess we can discard the, discard the key now. It's not like we need to give it back to Kendall or anything. Um, in that case, I want to explore the other side of this. It's a little dangerous because it's so dark. I wouldn't really know I screwed up until it's like way too late. Isn't this the parking lot? It's still closed. But we have something here. Some high grade gunpowder. Okay, I'm gonna take that and... So well, either it's Claire or Leon that comes out of this door. Sorry, I took your stuff. I distinctly remember Claire being chased out of here by Mr. X. This is uncanny. Hey, what happened to you? Is coming, buddy. I ain't tough. Whoa! Get away from me. And you, sir, I advise you stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Down. Shit. Grabbing the herb and uh, and go. Oh shit. Oh. I successfully dodged him and then got myself in his way again. Come on already. you to stay down oh boy and there's that guy Another cop. Wow. Okay, so where is this? Looks like a common household, but... When did Nemesis have time to do the, all these people? Oh, well, I like the interior design, if that's any consolation for killing you again. Some modern art here.
a more explosive rounds. I have elected to put the flame rounds and the, the uh, grenade launcher back with the box uh, because we just fought a boss in a, a nemesis. So I have uh, I I don't think it by usual video game standard we're not going to be needing that kind of firepower for for a while. I could be wrong though. Raccoon Times readers column. Dear editor, I'm writing to you because I am troubled, deeply troubled. Anyone who's been a parent knows that Crystal Promenade is the the place to take your kids for a trip downtown on Saturdays. And there's no store more popular or hard or harder on a parent's wallet than Toy Uncle. However, I've noticed that on windy days, the big statue above the entrance wobbles like the only thing holding it up is a couple of screws. If that statue's head tumbles loose on a busy day, children will be badly hurt. I've complained to the manager three times now, but he just isn't willing to rectify the situation. Are we supposed to wait for a terrible accident to happen before taking action? No. If heads are going to roll, then let it be the managers. Take the death trap down. Timothy Wells, 69. You know what? That's a pretty good point. Why are you telling me this? Is, he, is, is the game trying to get me to... Roll off the head of that scary toy uncle thing. Because I'm down. I'm down on dismantling that public menace. Like, I know like, all those kids that were jeopardized by this situation are probably little zombies now, but hey. Ugh. Little, little, little kid zombies running all around. It's just scarier than anything that Nemesis could bring to the situation. Whoa. I regret. I even thinking about that, and I regret putting that image in your heads. And I regret leaving the grenade launcher back at home. Like, is someone Ada? Are you supplying him? Rocket launcher? Really? Yep, really. Oops. Ev evasive maneuver. Oh shit! I evaded it into his line of fire. That's bad. But eat that. Ah! Holy shit. No. How, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh, I'm back here. We were both wrong. Oh! Ah! Oh. Jesus! I'm supposed to head this way. I, that's the bastard. I'm gonna roll his head off. Wow, I really should have brought more herbs. Uh, 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 am I leaving behind some herbs that I could pick up, maybe? Where am I? Um, I don't think so. here wow this place is completely on fire now oh are we seriously doing this okay okay that's what it was about oh oh no um I was just killed by the toy uncle. 
I thought it was me that's supposed to spring the, to, to set the trap, not spring it. I guess Jill didn't manage to evade that boulder after all. Look at that. I agree. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So did what Nemesis read the complaint from that guy and he decided that you know what I'm gonna take advantage of that infrastructure error. Ah shit. Stop it! How am I supposed to uh am I supposed to get here? Wait. Uh, okay, where's the station again? Do Come on, man. Oh, boy. Oh, there it is. There's the entrance I was looking for. Jill, this way. Right behind you. That's me. Hey, you okay? Go, go. And it is look, looking like on, I hate you so much, stars. Come on, let's get out of here. Wow. I really didn't expect to see Nemesis so fast again. <laughs> this game is just Carlos. I know we didn't get to a great start. Thanks for saving. Hey, you saved my ass first. You're a hell of a lot braver than me. Okay, appreciate, well, but what matters get out of is that we can door. get everyone out of the city now. Yeah, right, you'll be safe. So, is there anything else I can take from here? Uh, I can save here. Not sure if I'll get another chance uh, anytime soon, so I'm grabbing the herb. And I'm taking this. All right. So There's no save machine here. Let's get going. What about you? Not from the sound of it. I won't be catching the train. Why not? Now there'll be new orders. Really? If it means I can help save the city, it's fine by me. Well, like, what more can you do here? Well, I have a feeling this will be a temporary goodbye. Good work. Your reputation is well deserved. Get inside, the subway's about to leave. 
Carlos, Tyrell, you have your orders. You need to go back out into the city and find Nathaniel Bart. This isn't the last ride out of town, right? Do not worry. Once the civilians are safe, the train will be back. It's all right. You're going ahead. I'm not going to die on you and leave you in a cold, cruel, Carlosless world. Okay. You'll need to find this scientist. His vaccine research could save us all. You see? You're learning. The only life that matters is your own. Good luck. Let's go! You don't really think a pencil pusher like Barton is still alive, do you? I have it on good authority. Why? Are you worried about teammates? Or something else? Funny how brainless zombies can ambush a platoon like that. Funny the gate was locked. What you think? <laughs> Shit. I'm thinking that maybe the he may be the only guy who was ever called a nemesis shitbird. We just can't go on two minutes without seeing that thing. Subway's got to be clear of the city by now. Along with your hot date? Nah, she's not like that. I know she's not like anybody. <sighs> All right, keep your head screwed on, Romeo. This is the police station. Are you sure? It looks like a cemetery to me. Okay, two things I have noticed. Number one, we're Carlos now. Say hi, Carlos. Uh, number two, this looks familiar. This is exactly where the B scenario started with Leon. Okay, so we are going back to the police station. A little later than I thought, but we indeed are going back to familiar grounds. Oh, are we gonna see Brad here? Stop! T. Marvin? Come on, man. Not you too. Is this how he gets bitten? Sure. Holy shit. That screwed up. Shit, it's locked. You stay on the door. I got this fucker. Come get some. This is for leaving the whole team at the Spencer Mansion, Brad. Wow. Oh. Brad is the one who bit Marvin. I'm sorry, Brad. I, I I gotta take Marvin's side on this. Oh boy, that could be useful. Yeah, he's. Oh no. Do you think Nemesis will be tracking us now? 
I don't think so. Nem Nemesis knows who exactly. I don't think Jill has a stars card with her. Poor Marvin. Do we get inside? Dude, what is happening? Where'd that cop go? Don't know, don't care. We got a job to do. If our intel's still worth a damn, then Bard's in the star's office. Let's find him and take him into custody. Custody? I thought this was a rescue. Carlos, take a look at this. I've located the star's office. Yeah, I know where that is. Let's go. I, I know exactly where that is. I can show Carlos, you. I don't even need to see the map. Ass over here. No! <laughs> I'm, I'm on a tour. Uh, we can't go anywhere though. Everything is locked up. Marvin, are you here? Oh, I should leave the green heart from Marvin. He's gonna need it. Can we? Oh man, we can find the three medals and the stuff. I just played that game and it's already given me nostalgia hits. Area looks clear. You don't think Mr. X is activated, do you? So the timeline is getting clearer. This is clearly before Resi 2. If you see Marlon getting bitten, then there's no doubt. This makes Resi 2 and 3 really wonderful companion pieces. I'm just gonna take a tour and see if there's any where we can go. Hey, library. Now here's a weird fucking door. Yeah, we're gonna. We're here for bar. <laughs> we need keys for that. Wow. Whoa. What was that? So uh, I. <laughs> Carlos doesn't have the dodge move. He has this shoulder bump thing. Okay, I'm here. What do I need to see? Hey, can I use the... Remember, Bard had access to Umbrella's darkest secrets. He knows we'll try to keep him under our thumbs. So this search and rescue mission is really more like find and detain. Hmm. Right. Good to know. I'll open the shutter so you can get through. You stay here and find out what's been going on here at the station. Call you if I find anything. Yes, let hey. me in there. Be careful. Yeah. You too, man. I'm taking everything. Okay, <laughs> things are things are happening. I'm so excited. And what do we have here? I don't know, man. ID card security protocols. September 16th, 1998. Each member of the force has been issued an ID card. From now on, this card will be required to access all storage boxes. Do not lend your card to anyone. Take great care in using it. If your card goes missing, report it lost immediately. RPT Facility Maintenance Department. Well, that was not required in the last game, but we're gonna try Brad's card. Yes. Play curse? Mm, nope. Not this time. That sounds like hell. Oh no. What the hell was that thing? Oh, it's that cop in the corner. Nemesis did that? Why would Nemesis be here? What star's member is left for him to kill at the station? Because I thought for once we were gonna have a, a chapter that is not about. Couldn't have been a zombie. Because I, because uh, we usually we usually thought that it was Mr. X who did this. 
And no, it wasn't a zombie who did that. Are we gonna check his jaw? Like. So I'm thinking we're probably not going to be able to explore the station nearly as thoroughly as we did in Resi 2. We're going straight to the star's stick office. Around. Uh, here we go. Oh, it's a little off the mark. Oh! I just realized something. I just realized that I'm using keyboard and mouse. So I'm not totally able to navigate myself as subtly as I hope with a, con like a controller. So I'm going to pick up the PC controller that I luckily have attached on and uh, play, th play these parts with the controller instead. Okay, when it comes to shooting, I still prefer the mouse and the keyboard. Hey, the first sign I see a liquor. Oh, shit. Hey, I remember you. I think they added some uh, zombie models in this game. I'm seeing less uh, repetitive faces. Which is nice. Flash grenade, I have missed you. Flash grenade was fairly important in the final boss fight in Resident Evil 2. So rifle. T, you copy? There's something real nasty in here. I don't know what it is. Something nasty. Alright. I'll take a look with the cameras. Watch your six. Do you hear that? I hear that. That's not good. Um. I think maybe the guy bumping the vending machine. Oh shit. Oh, that's fast! Maybe not entirely necessary to kill all of them, but look at this. going for me so the west office is here is there anything in the safe deposit room oh, shit. Uh, we need a key I think it's not just a room though, it's not letting us in, it's just, just we need a key. Okay, Brad's card, you're gonna... very useful right now. A scope for the assault rifle, nice. We got, so is it using any differently? Ah, it's adding a target mark, I like that. And you're up. I don't like that. Yeah. 
How about that safe? We don't know the combination. Actually, do you think if I go back and find the combination from Resi 2, is, is it going to work? And they don't... I can't operate with the lock, because that is a puzzle that I totally can solve right now. I wonder where Marvin is hiding. And I don't think we can open this door because it requires a special key. So some things are interactable, others are not. September 20 arrest report. Okay, name Ronnie Gray, occupation unemployed, former electrician. Charges are, I don't know, if <laughs> maybe charges is a little bit of pun. Because he's an electrician now, I'm just overthinking it. A lawful creation and or possession of explosives. Narrative. Suspect, ha suspect has been behaving suspiciously at 1442 Box, Saint Box Street on September 18th, 1998. Suspect's person was searched producing a small... Oops. Sorry, there was a little bit of disturbance on my PC's end, but it's so sh sorted out. Suspect's person was searched producing a small explosive at a timed detonator from his inside pocket, leading to arrest on the charges listed above. A search of suspect's home found more than 20 additional homemade explosives at various stages of completion. Suspect was extremely agitated and not of sound mind. Suspect spoke feverishly when questioning began, and at one point the questioning had to be halted due to the sudden bout of shrieking from suspect. Once questioning was resumed, the suspect made the following statements. I didn't do it for me, I did it for you. Why doesn't anyone understand the corpse the corpses attack from the shadows? Okay, he was in the know. A storm's coming, but this umbrella is no good. Gotta blow it up or you'll be more than just wet. Gotta get more bombs. They're coming soon. Gotta hurry. Burn them. Burn the corpses. Burn them good. During questioning the suspect began to shake violently before resuming a shrieking fit. Questioning was ended and a sedative administered. Note, due to suspect's unstable psychiatric condition, suspect's testimony changed from moment to moment. Suspect's delirium made any sort of dialogue impossible. We are currently awaiting the results of a doctor's investigation into suspect's condition. The explosives collected from suspect's person and the residence appear to be extremely powerful. As a safety precaution, a battery was removed from one detonation device upon its admission into evidence. The battery was secured in the safety deposit room. Oh. Okay, we got we need to get the battery from that room. And we also need to find the detonation device. In the evidence room. Where is the evidence room? I don't remember that from the last game. Do do we rem is there an evidence room? Let's go see if there's Good old reliable safe room is still there. Please drop dead. It's so great that they. I mean, they have this model of the police station just ready made and ready to go so that's a big plus for them I guess hey there uh, turn on the light maybe this is a little bit dark there it is hey I'm back baby I'm back home I'm gonna take this stuff so S -s once again sorry Leon or Claire uh, what, what what is this? Internal memo. Uh, office supply internal relocation notice. Heat resistant the three number combination safe move to star's office, west office. The combo is left 9, right 15, left 7. Please change the combo ASAP upon receipt. Left 9, right 15, left 7. That is the same combination bef from before, right? So... If the cameras kill those things, I'd be set. Oh, is this a like a cheeky reference for the Clock Tower series? 
We don't we don't got pictures to develop here. Right, I'm gonna store the red herbs just for now. And just to save more space, I'm saving this here. I don't You know what? Yeah, that's those that, that looks better. So let's go back to West Office and uh, take out whatever's in the safe. Something is. Oh, it's you. Get back down. I am so thrilled to be back here. Oh, I missed something. Typically me. Now let's see this one again. Left 9, right 15, left 7. Oh hell yeah. Hey, isn't this the same thing from Resi 2? So how how did they still get it? I don't care. I have more space in my pocket. That's like that's all I care. That's all the good news I need. And the uh, locker room cap, that thing is still here, so I think we may be a kind of fun. Well, we are, we are going up to the locker room right now. Hey, General Grievous. Carlos, the star's office is up ahead. Copy that. Yeah, I know that. You know, something might happen up there, so let's check the third floor first. I knew that. I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. Oh, it's a key. Which one? Which key am I looking at? The safety deposit key. That unlocks the safety deposit room. That's great. We don't know the combination of this one. What happened to the door here? <laughs> they don't want to open this area, so they just remove the door. <laughs> Seriously? Okay. Oh, you know what? I'm going back downstairs for the safety deposit room. I'm getting that battery and you're not gonna stop me plot oh god there you are dick face this is not good whoopsie okay Lakers are here. Lakers are in the picture. Uh, I'm on caution. Caution is not too bad. I wouldn't say 99 to that thing. And I think that's it for this key. Two buttons are missing. Shit! Oh boy. <laughs> Man, they just don't even flinch from the first shot. So do I need the uh, extra keys this time?
think I'm gonna go back to grab a red. Um, 106, 109, they have stuff in them, uh, as well as 104. Oh god, you kidding me? I didn't know even- I didn't even fucking know this move was possible. Let's see here. One. Uh, 106. And 109. Got a battery. Mine now. Come the Papa. I think that's it for the room if I'm correct. I am correct. Of course I am. What is this? Third floor. Oh, DCM. Thank you. In that case... Uh, what the hell? Who was that? I didn't. I didn't even understand what happened. Well, we don't need all of them. I don't think. Um, I'm gonna store one of these. So hard. I'm gonna store the grenade. Okay, so what just happened out there? Was it just you? Go to the third room locker and sort it out. Seems to be a right decision to explore the third floor first. DCM. Even though, you know, this trip back to the PlayStation inevitably, inevitably creates some continuity problems for the uh, continuity. I, I still this is still freaking great. I think it's every bit worth it. And let's be honest, the canon for Resident Evil has always been a very flimsy thing. Oh for fuck's sake. Why is it blocked? I don't know, but it's always that way. So you have to go through men's locker room and women's locker room to get to the other side of the corridor. That's just how people in this police station operate. Carl, I hit a dead end with the terminal here. Gotta head your way. Copy that. Note to our friend, Hector, if you're reading this, I'm already dead. If you hear any noises coming from the locker, do not open it, please. Okay, that's the guy that scared me twice during Resi 2. While you were out on patrol, I focused on finding a way to get to the other side. I realized that explosives might be our best bet. I managed to rig up a pretty good bomb, but we don't have any batteries for the detonator. I'm pretty sure I sent one to the safety deposit room during in it intake last week. We need that battery if we're going to knock this wall down, so I, so I headed upstairs to find you since I know you have the safety deposit room key. As soon as I left the shower room, I was attacked. One of them bit me. I washed the wound as best I could, but I feel worse and worse. I hope I don't need to spell out why you must not open the locker. Please don't worry about me. Just get yourself out of here as fast as you can. Your buddy, Wes. 
P.S. Don't worry about the six hundred dollars I lent you. Think of it as a gift towards your upcoming move. Good luck, buddy. Oh, Wes, you're gonna make me feel bad for you. Break the shower room wall. Sh oh, that wall. Uh, let's uh go cat. So who resealed these locks? That's the real question here. Flash grenade. Better not. <laughs> I was kind of curious what would happen. Go with your brothers. Just lure Mr. X here. He's gonna do some great work about this. Electronic device. You know what? Uh, let's combine that with the battery. For some reason, the key can't just put the battery in the device. He has to take the device first. This has become a full blown detonator. Oh, well, it's the same kind of device that was used uh, uh, on the third floor in Resi 2. So that also came from the same crazy guy who's been making explosives at home. And he's actually supplied the police force with uh, quite a bit of explosives. That's good to know. Move. Really? Three seconds? Seriously? the heck oh god not this way man eat that That's a lot of you guys. Um, you are you sure you're all quite dead? One at a time. Take a number. <laughs> it's a shower room. God, I was just. Asking if you're actually dead. Whoa, 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 what? This game puts me in the toughest situations. Where, where the hell am I? Jesus. Wait, what, what are you doing? I was frozen back there, and like, I couldn't even move. That. This corridor, man, I freaking hate it. <sighs> Come on already. That was chaotic. It's like the game, every time I get bitten by one zombie, it shoves me into the arm of another zombie. It was crazy. Come on! How am I supposed to avoid that? I just really need this room to be clean. Because I don't know what's waiting ahead of me, so I might need to run back here in a frantic fashion. Plus, there's things I, I kind of missed back here. I definitely need a first aid spray now, if I didn't before. Okay, I'm at a star's office. What's everybody doing here? Cause I mean,
Dr. Bard. Oh, thank God. Do you know how long I've been trying to reach somebody? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of there. Just tell me where you are. I'm trapped in a goddamn hospital, surrounded by every kind of abomination. Look, just send in stars. They're gonna know what to do. No, I'm negative. RPD's overrun, too. Then figure it out! Umbrella's gone crazy. They're killing all the researchers. I am the only one who knows how to make the vaccine to stop the zombies. Oh, Billy. So you can either sit there with your dick in your hand or send, send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. I like him already. Yeah, you would. You heard what he said. And we can't turn him over to the company. That's not our call to make. That's Mihail's call. I'm gonna check the computer, see if I can trace the doc's location. Okay, I'm gonna have the shoot you in the back. Time. Look around, see if you can find anything useful. Do we need a dongle here? Don't have the dongle. Flash grenade. Is that the note from Chris? Supposedly the note from Chris, which is actually not from him because he's doing something super secret I mean given the proximity of the release dates between the two games do you think they were actually thinking about leaving things for Resident Evil 3 when they were designing this place for Resident 2 I mean it's possible clearly they were already working on Resident 3 when they when when they were at least a, post-producing Resi 2 and releasing it and marketing it and everything and remaking Resi 3 has always been almost a certainty ever since Resi 2 remake was even com just uh, announced well, we got quite a bit of space I'm just gonna take everything if you don't mind I still feel it's a little bit of a shame that the the rele that the uh, announcement of Res Resident Evil 3 Remake was a little botched because somebody released it uh, earlier, like uh, like leaked it on. Uh, or, but it wasn't a, like a surprise leak. Everybody knew it, it was kind of coming, but it was supposed to. Uh, they were kind of preparing to announce Resident Evil 3 as the single player portion of Resident Evil Resistance and Resistance has been something that's been announced for a very long time it's a multiplayer res Resident Evil game that nobody was quite excited about but um, it turns out it's just it's the multiplayer portion of uh, Resident Evil 3 and that was supposed to be a big surprise and I, I really feel like it would have been really nice if that surprise held true Is that Jill in the front row? Is it? Oh, I just thought. Press space to confirm. To confirm that it is indeed Jill in the front row. Can we look at, look at a, maybe a clearer pic version of this picture? I guess that's Jill. And I can see Wesker, that bastard. How about... Oh, okay, I see Barry on the second row. Where's Chris? That's nice. Got a report on the mansion incident. Oh, this I want to read. This bizarre incident occurred in the mansion owned by the Umbrella Corporation located in Arklay Mountains. On July 23rd, a Star's Bravo team was dispatched up to the Arklay Mountains to investigate a series of mysterious and grisly murders and went unexpectedly radio silent. On July 24th, Alpha team was dispatched as well and became entangled in the events at the nearby mansion. The incident culminated in the destruction of the mansion. Casualties were numerous. The only survivors were five members of STARS. The cause of the incident was the illegal bioweapon experiments being carried out in the secret umbrella lab beneath the mansion. The T-virus being used in these experiments escaped the facility and is presumed to be the root cause of all that occurred. However, all evidence was destroyed along with the mansion, so further investigation has proven to be extremely difficult. 
that and the chief irons was a piece of ass. And we no longer need a card. Goodbye, Brad. Hey, how's it going already? And we still could grab some medical facilities. I mean supplies. Hmm. I guess that really is this room. So if you're still not done, I'm just gonna head out. Yeah, what's up? Derail. Was anyone hurt? Jeff? Everyone was here. Everyone was hurt. Ah, oh, shit. Wait, what? Jill! Jill, what happened? Jill, come in! T, I gotta go. Do what you gotta. I'll take care of Bart. Am I back as Jill? Oh, now I regret not ad adventuring further beyond the star's office. I was so dumb. I should have gone over to the linen room. But the linen room I can't go in because it requires what the diamond key or something. You know what? Maybe I did go as far as far as I could have. Oh, Jill, you are a true survivor. So that couldn't have been Nemesis killing people at the station, was it? Or was that meant to be the liquor? Am I the only one who made it? No. That is no. the tr burden of all heroes to be the only one who makes it throughout everything. Where are we? We are at the subway tunnels. Carlos? Come in. Carlos? Oh, damn it. I guess I'm out of range. Grab stuff. First aid. Uh, still have all this stuff with me. UBCS new weaponry notice. I'm, go I'm guessing I'm gonna have a chance to play as Carlos again. Considering we we got all the stuff in the star's office, uh, that those are not going to be picked up in vain. Good news, Slim Dicks. Uh, I've got some uh, weaponry for you that's guaranteed to put the brass back in your sacks. They're called mine rounds. These babies were developed by Umbrella's military R&D, and they will light your fires even harder than the lover you left back home. They're tough to find and tricky to handle, but trust me, they're worth it. All right, let's take a look at the specs. My rounds are designed for standard issue grenade launchers. Don't get killed and try to load them in anything else. Fire them at walls or the ground and they'll stay right where you put them. The sensor in the mine will detect approaching enemies and detonate when they get within range. So that's what Carlos used against the nemesis. So basically just toss them in the enemy's path and you've got yourself a landmine. There's no such thing as unfair when you're taking on those giant freaks. So get out of there and fight dirty. I agree with uh, nemesis especially. What else can we take? More mine rounds. That's good. That's gonna stop him for a while. Okay, guys. Uh, I'm signing off for today. <laughs> this was hell of an episode. We re-explored the, the police station, but I think that was it. That, that was as far as we could have gone. And it's super cool to see that place back again, recreated very faithfully for this room, ex for this game, except maybe that the third floor was completely blocked for some reason there wasn't even a door uh, this was great I think they it's not really like a fan service or a thing I mean I, of course it is fan service but it's the top quality kind of fan service the, the kind that we really welcome and now we are back as Jill I'm, I'm expecting to f to meet Nemesis a few more times. I'm really curious what killed those cops in the corridor, like we see the tentacles. I thought that was that was Nemesis because we see Nemesis having those tentacles reaching out, but that couldn't have been him. Now that I think about it, because he he couldn't be there at the time. He's supposed to be chasing Jill on the train, derailing the train, and all that. B 
Besides, why would Nemesis be in the police station when all of the Stars members are gone? Jill is the only one left. Maybe except for Wesker, but if Wesker is counted in... Uh, if, even if they knew Wesker was still alive. Pff, spoilers. That they, they would, that he would have ways to prevent himself from being the target of Nemesis. I am sure of that. And on that note, uh, let me let, let me know in the comments if you have any idea. Maybe that was just the liquor. Uh, I, I, was I seeing the liquor with the town of liquor doing all that, or was it maybe Mr. X or Willem Birkin? I really don't think so. But let me know what you think. Anyway, hell of an episode. So much fun. This game is amazing. And uh, I'll see you in the next one where we, as Jill, once again, explore the subway tunnels. Goodbye.